हेलो फ्रेंड्स यर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी वॉट इज मेंट बाय वेपर प्रेशर एंड कैविटेशन वेपर प्रेशर एंड कैविटेशन फर्स्ट आई स्टार्ट विथ वेपर प्रेशर For vapor pressure, I can explain it with the help of a diagram. Suppose we have a vessel which is closed. Inside that vessel, we have water. Now, here I am considering water is at atmospheric pressure. then we are heating this water inside a closed container by supplying heat externally when we are adding heat this water it will evaporate and since it is at atmospheric pressure the temperature required for evaporation that would be 100 degree celsius now when the temperature reaches 100 at that time water molecules will be converted into vapor and this vapor will exert a pressure on this liquid water and hence this pressure would be called as vapor pressure so here i can define that vapor pressure is the pressure exerted by the vapor on a liquid so here we have defined vapor pressure that vapor pressure is the pressure exerted by the vapor on a liquid now this vapor pressure it can change vapor pressure for atmospheric condition we know that water will boil at 100 degree celsius but if we go on decreasing the pressure then water will boil at a temperature less than 100 so this vapor pressure value can change so this concept of vapor pressure it takes place even when the water is flowing and it is subjected to difference in temperature now let us see what is meant by cavitation see cavitation it means that if we have a pipeline and when the water is flowing through that pipeline when the water flows through the pipeline then suppose we have a low pressure region at this location suppose we have low pressure then because of the low pressure here the water would be converted into vapor that is here we would be ha having air bubbles at low pressure region some air bubbles would be formed now these air bubbles which are formed in the low pressure region when it goes to high pressure region here i am denoting this as the high pressure region so from low pressure to high pressure when it moves these bubbles they would be collapsing they are they would be collapsing at this location and when the bubble they collapse there is tremendous rise of pressure so because of that the walls of the pipe they get pitted there there would be we can say that pitting action on the pipeline so cavitation it is a phenomena when liquid passes from low pressure region to high pressure region so cavitation it is a phenomena when the liquid passes from low pressure region to high pressure region there is collapsing of the bubbles and because of this collapsing there is pitting action 
or we can say there would be small small holes produced on the walls so cavitation needs to be avoided it means there should not be a region where air bubbles are formed in simple terms when the water is flowing in the pipeline we try to avoid air bubble formation because that air bubbles when they collapse suddenly there is tremendous rise in pressure and because of that the walls of the pipeline will get pitted or it looks like it is corroded there is corrosion taking place so this was the cavitation phenomena hence in this video we have seen what was meant by vapor pressure with a diagram what is cavitation with the help of a diagram i hope everything is clear